Dice Folk, YouTubers, hi, welcome in, subscribe, like, comment. Appreciate you clicking on the video. If you want to stick around and watch a little bit, that'd be fantastic. You can also watch it live on Twitch. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every week. Social links are down below. And if you want to watch my breakfast gaming show, there'll be a link to the weekly toast as well. Oh, I think that must, that's my cleanest intro. Not bad. Right, the game. This is a creature collecting dice roguelike battling experience. It's a lot of things blended into one. I've got no idea what to expect from the gameplay, but the trailer looks amazing, so... I guess we hit new game and figure out what we do. Looks like we've got a few starting classes, maybe? The Warrior Talisman, Storm, Wrath, Pain. Pain has been found? Holy shit! It's actually in a game? Hello? So these are the starting things, maybe? Shrine Chimeras. So we've got Armor Look, Armantis, Pain, Armandro. Pain has been found. <laughs> it sure has. Shrine Chimeras. Is, is, is this like my starting pick? A great offensive capable team. Okay, next unlock. Some sort of blade armed cat dog. All right. Morning, Devil. How you doing, man? When Salem bewitched the most powerful chimeras of the Morning Reach. Oh, we do need to uh, say a big thank you to Lurkit for Humanity providing the key for this game. Boom. Lurkit Creator, down ago. there. Today, the mad sorcerer sleeps deep in the heart of the Eborian Peak to the east. From which his evil grip still controls the magical fauna. There's of an our evil lands. llama turtle. However, us dice folk, masters of will bending dice, is that an Albert? Are able to command chimeras as well. With chicken legs. At least, that's what the books told us. Oh, cool, look at this! If humanity is too weakened to fight back Salem, I will. All right, cool. So this feels very, I hate to say this, it feels very Pokemon and Avatar blended together, like the, the, the Ang last airbender talking about mastering the element of dice. We've got this sort of like combat thing. There's a creature behind me. There he is. If that's where creatures are going to be, we're going to have to move. Just watch the weekly toast. D disappointed that the DRG footage didn't line up with the monologue. Oh, you'll live. You'll be you'll be totally fine. Uh, where do we, <laughs> where do we go? Um, down here maybe? Make us a tiny bit smaller? Is that, is that good? Oh god, it's mini-me. And it's all gone horribly wrong. Alright, you can live there. You can live there. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching this edited live from the past. That, that work? Sure. Hopefully there's no information down in the bottom right, otherwise we're screwed. Alright. Onwards. I didn't get to read that because I just clicked back into the game. Oh. Left me a comment? Oh, I've left you a comment as well, mate. It's beautiful. Okay, so the Chimeras are here to protect me. But Lloyd A, on spawn, if in the lead, attacks the opposing leader. So I'm guessing leaders here and here, the little crown icon. Uh, each Chimera has a unique ability made up of a trigger followed by an effect. 
cool. Uh, white dice, let me command my team. Dark dice, let me command the enemies. So this is the, the twist in the battling element of this game. You have to play both sides. You play as your team and you play as the enemy team. And what you have to do is mitigate the damage and destruction done to your team through the enemy's dice. So if you know that maybe something in the front is about to die, and they, they have an attack dice and a swap dice, you can like rotate your team round and then you can force that attack onto a different party member. Which is kind of cool. So for example, I can use the attack and kill the Boglin by the looks of it. Um, I could also exhaust the enemy's attack right now just to get it out of the way. But I know that this one's a little bit tankier. So what we'll do is that we will attack we will then rotate and then attack. And our tankier character will be taking the damage, which is kind of cool. Can I press spacebar to enter? Enter? No? Rip. Okay, so they have their own. Attacked gains strength for the rest of turn. So if we hit this, it's going to gain two strength. Not ideal. How much damage do we actually do? We do five. So what we can do is we could rotate the tankier character in after we have swung in. So we'll hit for five. We'll then rotate. And then swing. Oh, what's this do? Bulk up. Leader gains plus two strength for the rest of the turn. Rotates in a random direction. Oh, interesting. Cool. Do we see that that's been added rather than just that going up? We did it! All right, collect your loot. Oh, cool. We find, like, trinkets and equipment. Uh, target a Chimera heals 50% of its max health. Okay, so can I... Oh, it goes here. I don't just put it into the slot. Okay, so what did this do? On spawn gains guard. This is our leader. Do that. Okay, cool. Ooh, I wonder how many dice we can actually have. Maybe we can get more than three. When traveling, I can always take a look at my team and manage it. Where should I go next? So this is our roguelike map. Cool. So we have team, we have consumables, we've got some money. We've got our dice that are loaded here. And at the moment, we have three very strange looking companions that are actually all unique. This one's stitched up through the middle. This one's tiny, and this one's got like a cross on its belly button. Interesting. Uh, what have we got? We've got three fights and some loot. We'll go for the loot. Collect. On spawn, if health is not full, plus four strength for the rest of battle. Ooh, we could put this on our tankier one, and then have them just a little bit chipped off with their, with their health. Sure. Uh, gains plus two max HP. Ooh. So this one's on 20 already, right? Could tank him up a little bit more. Sure. Nice. Dice Smith. Oh, who are you? Why why do you have to be down here? I've moved my camera now. God damn it. Uh right, so we've got a shop. So if we had money. Gains taunts, gets focus, that does plus one hundred percent damage for its next attack only. A throwaway dice. 
Oh, interesting. Look at that. Did I just elbow that man in the face? Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You 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 provided me with some sort of cool stuff and and my my hands were quite literally forced. It wasn't me, I'm sorry. Can I go back there after? It's still lit. A chimera just broke free does not seem aggressive. It was revived by my talisman, was it? I could recruit it and have a more powerful team right away. What even is this? This looks like the hand of a boss from Elden Ring? Or I could keep exploring and free other chimeras from their shrines. Okay. Is it a free thing? Because I love to replace the low health one. It only hits for four though, which is a slight problem. Enemy rotation, if in the lead, attacks the opposing leader. Oh, that sounds really good. Now, if this attacks first, it's great. If the rotation happens and then it strikes, it could be less great because I could be lining up to try and kill something immediately. Don't elbow the dice smith. God. Hmm. I kind of wish that I'd given the berries to this thing now because then this wouldn't be as bad as an upgrade. But I think we move you here. Maybe we just go for the same value on the attack and recruit you. So how does this work? It recruits. Ah, okay. Replace. Very good. Now, can I put this here? Good. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. Can I click on a location to just run to? Oh, I can. Battle start. Oh, it is an upgrade for the tank, yeah, but the extra plus two health is a bit of a problem. I should have given it to the other one, really. The, um... The six strength. Chimeras and equipment have many abilities. They can inflict debuffs or grant buffs. I can consult how these will affect them at any time. That's a big shield. So, we've already hit the leader. We can hit for six and kill it, which is great. But it does force this in. We have to do a rotation here as well. Clash attack. Oh, it forces both to attack. Okay. So if we do... This. Probably should have just saved the shield actually and just killed it and then clashed attacked. Never mind. Which way is this rotating? Sure. I keep thinking I have to click the dice and then click on the creature like a card game, but it, it quite literally does everything for you, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we get nothing from this now. Okay. End. Reckless attack. Leader attacks, then self-inflicts incapacitated. Okay, so we do Clash first. Now, do I have to use my rotation dice, or can I end turn? If I end turn, does it roll it? Oh, it does. Well. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Abandoned Tent Bonfire. Let's go here first. Plus one equipment slot. Ooh. We can do this and we can make... Can I make this the leader? Like that? That's pretty good. So basically, if the enemy rotates, 
I... Wait. We strike. If we have less health, we strike even harder. And we have a big shield. That's kind of cool. Morning, Rocket. How you doing, man? How you feeling today? What to do? Rest, eat, or sew a pouch. Revive and strongly heal. Slightly increases a random stat of every Chimera. Plus one equipment to one of yours. Ooh. A random stat. So basically, we're going to get either more health or stronger. Equipment slots could be pretty good. Let's do this, and we'll give it to the six striker. Oh, that's cool. Bye. A Luna Go and a Mink Pocket. I really like the art style. It's like a really neutral background, but it's still detailed. And then all of these are actually like proper penned in, proper lined. I like it. I like this a lot. So if I rotate the enemy, we strike into the Mink. Uh... So, let's do this. Did we not? Oh yeah, so it attacks, we do this. We get enemy rotation strike, so we hit for eight. Good. So we buffed ourselves with the plus four. Now we can reckless attack, which incaps me, which isn't fantastic to be honest. Is that for one turn? Until the end of turn. Uh, I don't want to rotate. Okay, so I think we... I wonder if... I'm going to science this. So we're going to reckless attack and then we're going to spin. So we incap ourselves, but maybe... No, incap will take over. Maybe animal enemy rotation strike still happens. I guess we can start working on the Lunago instead. Oh, I pressed the wrong rotate. Shit, attack! Actually messed it up. Oh no. Oh no, now it's buffed itself, random rotation. Please spin back to the Escobol. Oh, clutch. Ooh, range attack. I have to choose. Hang on a minute. Target any opponent. And I'm taking five to the face. Sure. I get a range attack. Wait a minute. So there aren't ranged and melee characters. The dice actually just allow it. That's cool. That is cool. Still no dentist rocket. Oh god. Looking forward to stream tomorrow. Oh, what for some 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 lurky murky divers. It's going to be great. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that game. Giving it a proper, proper bash. Uh, we've got some money. Should we go and have a look at the dice smith? So we can gain taunt. So it has to take the next attack. Uh, an affected chimera deals plus 100% of damage for its next attack only. So these are throwaways. They're not keepsakes. The extra dice would be kind of nice, but I don't have the money. So let's continue this way. Alright. We're looking good. So we... Oh, reckless attack. How sad is that? Okay, we need to clash. Look at that, Chisley. 
How cool does that look? Uh, rotate for free damage, or do we kill this? I don't really want to in-cap myself. But I guess we could just kill it. Alright, let's do that. We just get a free strike. Sure. Uh, that kills it, but I take a bit of damage. That kills it. Very nice. We don't want to get too low on our health. We still want to be healthy enough to take a fight. What's this up here? It said toggle. Was that the speed of the, uh, speed of combat? Oh, money. Revives or slightly heals. Or oh, and. Oh, lovely. Do I have to eat this now? I'm fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. I, d I don't want to be healing. Uh, should we go and have a look at the... the oh, let's go and get the extra dice real quick, because we got the money. So, let's purchase... Do I get to buy a dice face? Target an ally. Gains two strength for the rest of battle. Gains guard. Oh, crap. These are actually really good. The extra dice could be kind of nice. Yeah, let's get that. Alright, let's show down with the first boss. Why not? Dun, 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 dun. You bought it because it's cheap? Yeah, I mean, it's on, what, 25% off as well or something? So it's about £3. What is this majestic beast? Okay, so attack inflicts two bleed every time its team rotates. An affected chimera takes an amount of damage equal to the bleed value. So whenever they spin, we take the bleed amount. It's also got a boss dice. Okay, do I use this? I'm guessing it's just more of a loaded die. Uh, okay, what have we got going on? The battle is won as soon as this is dead. It's got a lot of health. I think... What's our... Um... Okay, so we're already on max thingy. Let's go... Clash attack. Three guards. Attack. I do not want to rotate them, but I think I have to. Yeah, end turn. All enemy dice have to be played. Okay, this kind of works in my favor because every time they rotate, I'm actually doing damage to them as well. Range attack, it's hitting for four. Uh, let's put the damage on this one. Sure. What the hell do you mean, random? Oh, it's all rotates. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, let's clash. We'll rotate and then strike. Because if I rotate, I can't strike with my passive. It attacked me. You little shit. Get out of it. Okay, good. Random rotation, energy shock. Without attacking, leader deals an amount equal to the strength of... I'm sorry, what? Okay. Do I want to rotate, slap the boss? I think we do this first. Then we do this. That triggers the attack. Then we strike. Okay. Looking pretty good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Random terrifies me. We're definitely hitting this. It's about uh, two foot tall, um, long, slender neck. Yeah. Kind of orange and black bill. Anything else? Like, it's a swan. That's a funny looking swan. Oh, free damage. Please be another rotate. That is awesome. All right, cool. Ah, oh, reckless attack sucks. We do kill the Chisley. Uh, there's one on chicken. One big chicken. One big chicken. Let's random rotate. We're going to random. Perfect. Actually perfect. Look at that free damage. Uh, hit for four. We'll put it on you. We're then going to reckless attack. And end the turn. It only gets a clash. Really? We can guard the clash. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I wish I had a bleed. God damn. I actually really like the combat. It gets you thinking. And we didn't use the extra dice or the heal. Okay. So we can get some sort of cool thing? That's good, that. KO'd. Once per battle, the holder revives and strongly heals. That sounds quite good. On equip, plus 10. On unequip, minus 11. Exit lead, new leader attacks. Oh, interesting. So you can tag in another Chimera. KO'd sounds pretty good, to be honest. But so does this. New leader attacks. So I have to do a rotation that makes sure that when that person leaves the lead... So we'd end up with something like this. And we would instantly swap out forcing the leader to attack. So mid-fight, this is brilliant. Yeah, we could do something like this. Okay. Cool. How is everyone? Doing good, Charlie? Oh, that's good, that is. It's an owl. It, it sure looked like an owl, didn't it? Plus one. Um, this seems to be our beefy boy, so let's, let's put another slot on you, shall we? Sure. Did you ever try For the King 2? No. I enjoyed the first game, and the second game pretty much looked more of the same. Are these Chimera Shrines? They are, right? Whoa, look at this algae dog. How cool is that character? Oh, that's creative. Okay, we can clash attack. We got poisoned. That's not good. We can attack. We can rotate and strike again. I get to pick. I guess we go for the other snake. So... That way. Oh, I should have clashed on the two. I didn't see that they had different values. Never mind. Lovely stuff. This poison's pretty nasty, you know. Okay, so the dog would rotate in, which is a bit of a problem. Um, maybe we go with the random first and see what happens. Oh, that's perfect. Now we clash. 
Now we rotate in and kill... Oh, no. Why do we not have... Plus four strength? Why are you so weak? Why are you so weak? What's happened? Do we rotate? Oh no, it's the wrong way. This poison is absolutely ruining me. Shit, I really should have looked at that first. Uh, let's attack that, spread some of the damage out. Let's do a random rotation and hope that we can do um, a rotate clockwise. Oh, it's random. That's bad. Uh, I hope that we put the Escaval back at the front. Woohoo! That worked perfectly. Oh, no, it didn't. It triggers the retaliation from being struck. Shit. Really? And I'll waste my attack dice. I can't use it. No, dude. It's dead. We have to do free rotation. And then strike. Oh my god. As soon as they introduce dots, I'm ruined. Look at that! It's dead. Okay. So now we do a heal token. We might even throw in the extra dice just to get through this fight. What have we got? Random. We've got an attack. Random taunts. The clown face. Uh, enemy range. Whack it on that one. We're going to rotate, but then we strike the dog. And that's a bad thing, so... We do this. For God's sake. Uh... We're in trouble! This tags me back in. Oh dear. Okay, we strike. We... Strike this character. We then rotate. And... Swing. That's the best turn that we could have had. Oh, the poison. We can attack that for free and take no damage. Which rotates him in, which incaps me. Okay. We then range to attack this one. Rotate this way. And we need him to rotate down on the next turn. That's the wrong way. Uh, we lose one of our Chimera here. I attack and he gets incapped. Hmm. This sucks. This sucks a lot. Do I trust that the rotation works in my favor next turn? I think I do. Oh! Oh, it's random. Okay, we incap him. We rotate out and we pray it's this one. 
Well, actually, it doesn't matter if we hit the five. If we hit the five, we win. Nice. Very nice. I need a heal. I need a heal. Do we go to the Chimera Shrine first and see what we can try and unlock and then go to the bonfire? What are you? What the demon monkey bat? Allied strength gain attacks a random... Okay, so when an ally gains strength, which this one can do because of this... He will attack a random opponent once. I guess he's the better one to take over this, but we could go to the other shrines and see if we can find a different Chimera. So let's leave for now. We can still recruit him. Uh, how's the team looking? Pretty shit. Bonfire. What do? Uh, stronger heals everything. Yeah. Cool. There's a shrine here. Let's try and get that. A Marmadrio? What's that? It's like a koi snake. Attack once per turn, inflicts entangle. Per turn? Oh shit. Okay. Bulk up. Uh, we clash attack first. Then we rotate. We get free damage on this thing. And then we reckless. Uh, we can kill them, Amadria? Bulk up. Random rotation. Hit. Then... We clash, which rotates, and we kill the boggling free. <laughs> oh my god, this combo is fantastic. I like the confetti afterwards when you when you get a win. That's cool. Alright, let's have a look and see what our second chimera could be. Some sort of majestic snail? Turn end, if not in the lead, attacks a random opponent. Both of these are amazing. But I think I can only recruit one of them. Oh, this is crazy. Wolf, how you doing, man? Good morning, buddy. 32 health is insane. If not in the lead, attacks a random opponent. This could be brilliant. It's way more reliable than the strength gain. Because this only happens once. And my bulk dice is a 1 in 6 chance. So I think we take this. And we replace this one. Because the run to the other shrine is quite long. Yeah, I do that. This seems like a good pick. Alright. Uh, we got quite a lot of money, actually. Let's go and have a look at the Dice Smith. Ooh, target an ally gains plus two for the rest of battle. Target a Chimera on the ally side if it attacks... Oh, it attacks the enemy leader. That's good. Without attacking, leader deals an amount of damage equal to its strength to all opponents. Well, that sounds a bit mad, doesn't it? A die that doesn't roll randomly. What? How do I know what those symbols do? Target any Chimera, it attacks the enemy leader. The energy blast seems too good. How do I fix this to a die? Let's let's buy this. Oh, okay. Assign your die face. So this was an energy blast. We've got a lot of weights on this. Can we remove a weight? Oh 
cool. I don't mind the rotation. Rotation's totally okay. Idle is terrible. Uh, confirm. So has it done it? It's done it! I'm a little bit disappointed that there wasn't like a cutscene cinematic of like, you know, the blacksmith crazily bashing a dice. But, you know, you can't have everything. Uh, let's go this way. What do you do? On spawn sleep? What? Okay. Cannot attack and must be attacked in order to wake up. It hits for 10, which is a huge problem. So I think what we do here is we free rotate and we go for the snake. We smack snake. We clash snake. And then we hit again. Good. Oh, the random attack. Perfect. I like how it's gripping the hilt of a sword. Like a broken blade. That's cool. Uh, we have to use a clash. So we can kill this. It will then force a rotation and hopefully we go for the boggling. That's perfect. Uh, I think we have to energy blast now, which will wake up the Denderoth, but... We shall see. He didn't wake up? Is it because it's a without attacking? It doesn't use the attack keyword. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so we can't do any damage to this, unfortunately. I think we keep the Boglin alive. If I free rotate, I can get 8 damage onto this thing immediately. And then we get a random attack from this that could just lower the Boglin. Perfect. I mean, that's just as good, to be honest. Okay. This synergy combined with the AoE dice. Very, very fun. Uh, Lightly heals a chimera of my choice. You. Cool. A traveler. Hello? Can't see this person. What? There they are. They've got like herbs and spiky things and potatoes growing out their arm. It's great. Hey there, Traveller! You have any extra gold? I could use some. Give eight. Gain damage dealing equipment. Give eleven. Gain healing. Equipment. Healing equipment. I could have a heal thing on this. The Bone Comb! Attack once per battle. Re- Oh my god, okay, so it's six. Not a lot. But it's not bad. Well, that happened at the beginning. Ooh. I'm not sure about putting it on that character. Money? Yes, please. Shop. Perfect combination. Money, then shop. The hell? The whole team gains guard? That's pretty good. 50% of max health of the allied team. Very nice. Oh, we've got some regen. On spawn, if in the lead, regains five. If not, regains three. Oh, man. We could put some regen on someone else. Uh, gain gold once. Attacked if the item holder had guard. Grants guard to a random ally, including self. Oh, my God. God, I compare that with the paper shield. These are all fantastic. I 
I can force guard with one dice. Not, it's not great. We could do this and then this guy hits for 10. And then we can take this and turn this into the tank that just takes all the damage. Sure. Uh, how are we looking? Half health? Is there anything that I can heal with? Not that I can see. I think it's boss time. Whoa! Okay. This looks terrifying. Turn start inflicts one poison, but that number's flashing. Is that going to increase? Oh no. Boss gains plus one int, a stat that is not found on all. It, it increases the amount of poison. Energy shock without attacking. Oh god, it bypasses the shield. We might be, we might be dead. <laughs> We might be dead. Uh, we have to play this. Is it the leader that attacks? Oh, okay. So I think we rotate. Love that. Get some regen. This is good. Uh, that's less good. the hell do you mean? Oh, I'm in-capped. Oh, shit. And I don't want to put him in because then I don't get the free... I guess I do need the damage anyway. Sure. Big problems. Big problems. Random rotation. Oh, God. We need to rando rotate. Oh, it doesn't really matter who goes in. Maybe we soak the damage. And then we rotate. We've got to kill something. I think I have to kill the boss. As, as soon as it dies, the battle's won. So I just need to mitigate the damage from these two. Ooh, this is rough. These heals are coming in clutch. Uh, interesting. Where do I want five damage to go? Probably not on one of those. Let's rando rotate. Oh, I should have hit for 10 first. Never mind. Now we hit for four. A measly four. I'm looking at mitigation rather than attack and defend. Uh, energy shot. Sure. We need to rotate the boss in and then strike. You lucky potato. Support attack. Oh, hang on a minute. Target any. It attacks the enemy leader. Do that. Now it has to retreat. Not bad. No. Uh, we have to use charge. Clashing with this is probably a bad idea. But if I rotate... Oh, it rotates right. So I'm guaranteed to strike for 10. Okay. So, clash. Rotate. 
rotate the boss in. We then bulk up. We range attack. I can hit myself. What? And then we reckless. Oh, this is hard. We've now got extra poisons. Oh my lord. We have to use this. We rotate him in. This guy then swings. Attack all! What's the downside to this? He's encamped. Should have seen that one coming. Can't reckless now. Okay, we rotate in. We now get to strike. We get to reckless. Uh, random attack. Break the guards. Random rotate. Oh my god, there's so much going on. My personal goal is to not lose a Chimera, but it's looking pretty crap, to be honest. Okay, if we all attack, we incapacitate ourselves. If we... What's random gonna do? I don't know what's on the face of the die. Uh, clash? Clash or retreat are most favourable here. Uh, it was a rotation. Not, not bad. If I random rotate now and the dog comes in, I lose my chance to do massive damage. Who do I guard? You're already guarded. If I rotate in, I could guard this one. Because the leader gains guard. If this goes in, I'm ruined. But I need him to attack. Oh. For God's sake. Okay. We guard this. We attack with this. We then rotate, and whoever goes in strikes. Because it's going to be four damage regardless with this. So if we can get the ten, it's, it's a plus. Rip. I think he dies to poison, right? That would have been a free hit from him on that. Oh, I should have rotated first. Damn. Oh, we, we lose this. He's, he's totally dead. So we need to keep him alive and soak the, the hit into somewhere else, maybe? Or maybe he just dies now in the swing. We know he's dead, right? We've also got a clash to use. Oh, God. And we rotate our weakest character in. How do I know which character is going to go into from the death? Does it rotate clockwise? We need something smaller to clash with us. But then I need to be dealing damage to the boss. Oh, the choice is horrible. Uh, if we take it on the nose and we clash... Wait. We can absorb an attack, so it doesn't really matter. We just need to do some kind of damage. 
I just got an achievement. Somebody died. One of my chimeras just fainted. I will not be able to pursue my journey if none can fight. Okay, so we need to revive it. Totally fine. So if we hit this, we get incapped by the dog, which is a problem. So I'd like to range attack first. So we hit this for 10. We then take the hit, but we soak it with the guard. Now we slap everything, incap this belloid, and then we rotate in that triggers exit lead and he attacks at the same time. So we do this. We're now incapped. We then rotate in. He gets free damage. Now we rotate. We hit the dog and we incap ourselves. And then it's new turn. Now Poison's going to hit one of these two, and if it hits the Belloid, it's dead. Ugh, don't you just love that? That's good, isn't it? Oh god, the leader needs to get a kill. Something has to die. Charge. Clash attack on the weakest thing. That sucks, because then we incap ourselves. Random could be a rotate. It's a strong chance of a rotate, actually. Fucking attacked me. Oh my god, you're kidding me? I don't even see that on the dice face, what are you talking about? What? Oh, God. I have to get the 10 in and we have to we have to do big damage this turn. I'd rather clash with this and I can't, so I just have to do this. Okay, random guard applied. Not bad, actually. So this is a leader attack. So we need to random rotate. We're going to range attack this. Now the real question is, do we go for an extra 10 on the face or do I remove this incap? I think I removed the incap. Ooh, boss 2 is quite the challenge. Quite the challenge. So we have to take 7. Oh my god, we're dead. We're, we're dead in, in the next turn. There's no way that I can do 56 damage. It's impossible. This was a nasty fight. Dot damage, man. Oh, you know what? We gave it a good go. First run. We'll take it. Go down swinging. 36 is what we got to. Good first run. Defeated. That was really cool. Okay, so we get a rundown. Oh, we get a new talisman, the storm. What did our talisman do? Ooh. You can now loot cursed equipment. Stone hand has appeared. Sacred text has been added to the compendium. Cool. Very cool. Hey, we got the new chimera. Fantastic. Oh, there's the team. Okay, so what did the warrior talisman allow us to do? Is it just the recruitment of Chimera type? I think it was. That was an hour. Good lord. And it looks like there's only three biomes to conquer initially. Cool. 
Morning, Panda. How you doing, man? Yeah, it definitely has uh, has, has Slay vibes, for sure. Yeah, this, this team combo worked fantastically, and this item worked with anything that happened. Just for the whole swap out free damage. I really enjoyed that. That was, that was very good. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed it, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Video description links, go click them all. If you want the game, there'll be a link. Appreciate you.